is the hot zone. Engaging with the news in a whole new way, international war correspondent Chuck Holton brings insight into areas of crisis and lets you help those affected. Well, good morning. It's uh, about six o'clock in the morning and we are going deeper into this story about the human smuggling that's happening between Colombia and Panama. Today we're gonna rent an airplane and fly out to a place called Puerto Valdia and actually trace the migrant route from the air and see if we can learn some things about how this actually happens and how many people are coming. So stick around, this is gonna be fun. about half an hour and we just passed over Lago Bayano that's one of the two large man-made lakes that make up part of the Panama Canal and feed water and cre help create electricity for the country. Uh, Lago Bayano is much bigger than I thought it would be. It's, it's really astounding. It's kind of like a great lake in the middle of Panama. I thought part of it, I was looking at the ocean it's actually still more late. Um, we are, we're gonna fly directly to Puerto Obaldia and we're gonna land and there we have arranged an interview with a smuggler, a coyote, who makes money by helping move migrants through Panama. That ought to be very interesting. When you fly over this area from the air, you find out that there's actually a lot of civilization out here. There's a lot of people that live out in the Darien, more than I thought. I expected to see nothing but, you know, untouched jungle, but I'm actually seeing a lot of farms and uh, actually places where they're cutting down timber. That's another issue here, another story we want to tell. There's a village down there. Uh, it's a pueblo. It's pueblo indio, nada más. Sí, pero no, no lo conozco. Uh, es en verdad. So there's a, there's a remote en verdad village. Es cuna. Es cuna. Todo esto que estoy así poblado de, de árboles es de cunas. La provincia de Cunayala. Ya estamos cerca del cruce de la cordillera. Ah, oh, ok. Ya todo esto prácticamente es de los Cunas. Ah, uh, so the, the pilot's telling me that that is probably a Cuna village because we're still in the Cuna reservation. Uh, Cunayala is what they call this. And uh, actually I'm looking on the map now. I'm going to see if I can figure out where that, or what, what village that is. Actually, there's a, there's a bunch. Those are villages that are not marked on the map. They probably have names, but uh, not on this map. They don't. No muestra nada en la mapa de esos pueblos. It is getting more wild here. We're climbing through, we're, we're above 4,500 feet now because we're coming up over the Cordillera. So this is that massive mountain range that the migrants have to cross. There's no way to get around to to, to get across Panama without crossing the Cordillera. And I mean, it's this plane is even struggling to get up over it. We're in a Cessna 206, five-seater. 
But there are five little seats for sure. <laughs> Getting a little bit bumpier out here. Panama Radio Aeronaval, 140 helicopter, buen día. Por los ríos que están acá en esta área, hay oro. The pilot's telling me that there's gold in the rivers in this area. Which makes sense, I mean, we're close to Colombia. 140 Panama Radio. Y si, la, si los cunas ven que los, los latinos, que los pueblos acá de Ariel, de Tortí, de Chepo, se ven acá, se agarran y te llevan preso a una de las islas por un tiempo. Well, he says if, uh, if the latinos come here to try to take their gold out of these rivers, The Indians will grab them and take them out and put them in prison in the, in the islands, put them in jail. This is, apart from the Panamanian penal system, this is the Cunayala penal system, which believe me, you probably don't want to, you don't want to be in. There's a lot of gold in, in Colombia. I mean, billions and billions of dollars worth of gold there. So it stands to reason that there would be gold in these mountains as well. Uh, there, there are a lot of artisanal gold mines in Colombia, and I've not heard of many of them in Panama, but it wouldn't surprise me if there are Kuna here who go out and pan for gold in the, in the rivers in this area. This is a very wild area we're getting into now. I don't see any civilization out here. So I'm looking at the map now, and we are. Estamos cerca de lo que se llama Guanucandí. Uh huh. Yeah. We're... There are some Kuna Islands out here. We're coming up to the uh, the Caribbean side of Panama. You can see our track there. We flew from Panama City. Uh, for some reason, it didn't, didn't track. Oh yeah, it's there. It shows our track. We flew over the coast and then turned north at this river, at Carti. Came up, we've been following the Caratera a little bit across the lake, and now we are getting close to the Caribbean side. Coming up over the Cordillera now, I think this line right here is the, the mountain range. That's the dividing line between north and south. Everybody thinks Panama goes north-south, But if you look at this map, you can tell Panama actually goes east-west, and the canal goes almost exactly north-south. So it's a little bit confusing. Boy, just imagining having to walk through that jungle is making me tired already. Wow. I finally figured out that I should turn my phone landscape that you can kind of see our track here the little blue dotted line and down here is Puerto Valdia right there and then we have Pau Chiquito and the migrants basically have to walk between those two many of them start from Capricana, up here, and they cross, walk across to Puerto Valdia. Some of them come in boats, then from there, they walk up over the Cordillera, all the way to Bajo Chiquito. It's about 50 miles.
con un poco de influencia de Colombia. Hola, peleito. <risa> ¿Como mil personas? Eh, no, tenemos alrededor de 600 personas porque... ¿600? Sí, nuestra comunidad, mucha gente emigra por, por buscar futuro. Ah, sí. O, oportunidades en la ciudad. Ajá. Eh, a, por, al ser frontera, tenemos eh, muchas oportunidades, pero no se invierte para desarrollar. Ah, sí, sí entiendo. Sí. Entiendo. Sí, tenemos pocos recursos. Acá en la panadería donde vamos a tomar café. Ah, muy bien. The Hot Zone is produced by Amy Holton and Live Fire Media. Copyright 2021.